we are going to build a simple circuit which consists of a 5 volts power supply and a 2.4 kilohm resistor. They are connected in series. So first day, we are going to use a breadboard to build our circuit. We pick up a 2.4 kilohm resistor and place the two ends of the resistor across the bridge on the breadboard. Notice the holes across the bridge are not connected together. So now we want to use a power supply to generate 5 volts. Turn on the power. So here we want to set up the voltage limit to be 5 volts. So the upper limit to be 5 volts. And we want to set up the current limit to be 100 milliamps. That is 0.1 amp. So the upper limit for the current is 0.1 amp. So this power supply actually has three working modes. Or in other words, it can be used as three separate power supplies. So one of them can generate up to six volts. The second one can generate up to 25 volts. So here we can set up that to a voltage which can be up to 25 volts. The third power supply can be up to negative 25. For example, we can set up that to negative 6 volts. So now we use the first power supply to generate 5 volts DC. So let's look at how to connect the cable. So for the BNC connector, this piece indicates it is ground, GND. So ground is connected with the black cable, and this is the positive 5 volts. So now we have set up our power supply. We can connect it with the resistor. So we just place the power supply across the resistor. Now we have already built the circuit with only two circuit elements. So the breadboard is used to stabilize your parts so that you can make accurate measurements. So for instance, you would take a resistor that looks like this, connect it one end over here, and connect the other end to this side, and now that part is pretty stable. Maybe we can also show the... L okay, first thing you're going to do is turn on the power. That is the on button. The default mode says output is off. Now you're going to select the display limit for the voltage. And we choose it to 5 volts. 5 volts. volts. Okay. And is the default that it's point out where the 6 volt is showing you. Okay, okay now you're going to limit the current mm -hmm. to 100 milliamps. 100 milliamps is 0.1. Yeah, now point out the 6 mm -hmm. volt power supply. Volts, no, yeah. the display where it says 6 volts on mm -hmm. the display. For instance, so, no, point out where it says 25 volts on the display. Okay, maybe pause that. We can okay. The now, um, this has three different modes. It, it shows the 0 0.6 supply right there. Push mm -hmm. 0 0.6. Okay, that says 0 0.6. Now, it also can do a 25, push plus 25. Mm -hmm. And you have to set that up. And then the minus 25, which we'll point out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, okay. you can use any of those. All right, now... Then to get the value for plus 6, we plug in that term. Now point out where the ground symbol is on the BNC connector. Make sure that you have oh. this piece mm -hmm. to the ground. Yeah, so that this piece says ground. Okay. Okay, G and that okay. should go into the black. Mm -hmm. And then that means that... Um, this okay, is this the ground, uh -huh. and this is plus 6. Okay. okay. So now, um, action. So now you have the power supply set up. Now connect it to your circuit. Just a simple resistor. Okay. All right. And then turn on the power supply. Okay, that's